Kurt Vonnegut came to Columbus and, uh, with virtually no publicity and 4,000 students showed up to see him. So they, he filled a hall with 2,000 people and then they had a, a, a spillover hall where they ran a video. And he sits up on a stage and he starts off, and the, the, the format was he didn't give a speech, he sat there and they asked him questions. So he's sitting on a couch and he starts off and he says, he was very gruff, he says, um, can I speak my mind? And they, they said, oh, well, that's what you're here for. And he said, and he held up this book. I swear I couldn't make this up. He held up this book and he said, what's the difference between Bush and Hitler? This was George W. Bush. What's the difference between George W. Bush and Adolf Hitler? This like stunned silence. And he says, Hitler was elected. <laughs> so there you go. That's straight from, straight from Kurt Vonnegut. I want to acknowledge, where did Alan, Min Alan, Alan Minsky. I want to say, Alan Minsky, thank you so much. And you'll come up later, say a few words, okay? But Alan Minsky has been running the, uh, come on up, Alan, has been running the PDA Zoom. I want to thoroughly embarrass you. Um, <laughs> and you'll say a few minutes. Uh, if you actually just say us a couple minutes real quick for about PDA. We are now on the P Progressive Democrats of America Zoom. And I want to tell you that I just got a phone call from CBS, and they're preempting the Oscars to run this. So <laughs> this will be all over the world. I am just, just want you to know. Uh, so Alan is the, uh, the executive director of Progressive Democrats of America, one of the great activists in all of America. And because of him, we're now going live on Zoom. Alan, just say a couple words, if you would, please. I haven't seen Drive My Car, but it seems like a very, very interesting film. It's rooted in a Chekhov play, Uncle Vanya. No, I suppose I'm not supposed to talk about that. Okay. Um, so, Joel Siegel. First of all, it's incredible to be around Joel Siegel. And, um, and, and right off the bat, um, I, it's just astonishing to be able to have PDA partner with GREEP, which is the best acronym since CREEP. <laughs> um, the committee to re-elect the president, the acronym that proved somehow the Nixon administration sort of had a sense yeah. of humor, I suppose. Yeah, right. um, Tom English, it's so great to be here with you, Tom. Oh, Tom. And and in seeing Tom, I just need to acknowledge our co-founder, uh, Lila Garrett, uh, who passed. Um, Lila was so wise, she had so much just spiritual wisdom as Lila Garrett that she lived a long and one of the most fulfilling lives imaginable. For those who don't know, she's the inspiration for the Barbara Streisand character in the movie, right. The Way We Were. Um, and she had the, the COVID pandemic. I think she left this mortal, her mortal coil a couple weeks before it hit, uh, which actually, again, in all of her earthly wisdom and just co cosmological wisdom, she uh, is, is something we all should take note of because uh, we have to take better care of ourselves and our planet. Uh, we have to be aware of how things like our destruction of the climate is going to produce more pandemics. And Lila, Lila was Garrett Lila Garrett present a for sure. And so, um, yeah. And and also Peter Matthews. I see here. I've got some good news for Peter Matthews. He's running for office in the 42nd district. And no, I'm not going to announce a PDA endorsement that goes through a process. That's a very interesting race. And there are about four people who are claiming the progressive lane, and at least two of them who I think are doing so uh, in great sincerity, one of them being Peter. So I'm going to try to be organizing basically a debate in the 42nd district uh, with PDA and maybe some other progressive organizations. And if anybody here wants to help out with that process, if anybody wants to step up and assist in us putting on a debate among the can for the candidates, Democratic, we only endorse Democrats at PDA. It's in our name. I think people can understand that. Um, we will endorse in general elections people who are independents if they promise to caucus with the Democratic Party. Hence, we do endorse Bernie Sanders in Vermont, for instance. Um, but um, yeah, we would love to put on a debate among the Democratic candidates running in the 42nd district. That was Lowenthal's district. Of course, the district lines got redrawn. There are a number of people running there, Reverend Moses Somerville, Peter Matthews, and then two Garcias, who both have considerable establishment back in the mayor of Long Beach and Assemblywoman Christina Garcia. We'd love to bring the four of them together. I hope Peter would be amenable to the proposal. In the 42nd, right? Yes. Yeah, to get a good debate going. Now, of course, 
We've had a number, um, I'm sorry about what's happening off stage, but this is uh, an event where people are being asked to be vaccinated. That's a little, a little rough and unfortunate, but alas, uh, someone was unwilling to leave per the host. So sorry about that, uh, a kerfuffle off screen. Um, I've heard the people who were watching the town hall. Okay, we just had a town hall with Doyle Canning. I don't know, does everybody know who Doyle Canning is? See, they don't. This is a problem we face in this country here right now, folks, which is that we have two different kinds of elections. We have elections in which there's a presidential election taking place, in which the general public uh, focuses upon uh, the election, and the attention can spill over to other candidates. Right now, with the collapse of local journalism, we have a situation in a midterm election year where insurgent candidates running against rotten incumbents have a very, 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 very difficult time getting the word out about their candidacy. And you have open seats. You have candidates who have a very difficult time getting the word out. Well, Peter DeFazio has stepped down as the longtime congressman in Oregon's fourth. And we just had our town hall with Doyle Canning, who will singularly enter the Congress as probably the leading climate emergency and climate activist in the country. She's a brilliant candidate and she has a political messaging background and we just had her on our town hall. So to get the word out about her. And on Wednesday night, we're gonna have a national fundraiser for Senator Nina Turner. Who here has heard of Senator Nina Turner? Sort of proving the case because of course she's famous because she was a surrogate in a presidential campaign. So. By the way, Dolores Huerta is in the front row right here. Yes, yeah, so and she's coming up next, so wow. everybody stick around for that. And I am honored to know Dolores both as a family friend and as one of the greatest political allies anyone can have in the world. And it's just gonna be a tremendous honor to hear from Dolores Huerta. But let me say what I can about Creep, okay? What these guys are doing is so exemplary. I mean, what comes together every Monday on a national town hall, if you care about having an honest democracy in this country, you gotta know about Greep. You gotta know about the work that people like Andrea Miller and Harvey Wasserman and Joel Siegel and boy, what they're bringing forward on the, as a ballot proposal in Arizona through the work of John Brakey. I mean, this addresses all of the issues that people have. I mean, they've thought through what it means to have computerized voting. What does it take to have certainty about the vote that you are casting? These guys have thought through it. They're experts on the subject and what they're proposing is the most exemplary just instance I have seen yet to date, okay? Now, going forward in this year, we need to push to get out the vote this year. I mean, we as Progressive Democrats of America, here's what we are all about right now. We're about getting as many progressives onto the general election ballot in November. Between now and the end of the primary season, we are gonna be championing great candidates like Nina Turner, Doyle Canning, Greg Kassar, who just won, or basically won his seat down in Texas, Jessica Cisneros against uh, Henry Cuellar down in South Texas, Jasmine Crockett up in the Dallas area. We're gonna be endorsing great progressive incumbents as we move the Democratic Party to be truly a party for the people and for the planet, folks. But we are also a, an organization that understands fully that the Republican Party right now is a threat to the very existence of a democratic society that we've grown up in. And come November, we have to make sure that we can hold on to a House majority, we can expand the Democratic majority, which we can do in this election cycle, past 52 to marginalize Democrats who I would really choke on saying they're our friends, Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema. So we get to 52, we can move the, the president's agenda, a progressive agenda through both houses, uh, through reconciliation and through the house and break the, uh, the constraints of the filibuster to get democratic reform in our country. And just that's what we're about at PDA. And in November, we're gonna have to educate the population about how to vote, the restrictions around the country in state after state that Republicans have imposed. What Mimi talked about, we're gonna revive our uh, calendar site and we're gonna work with incredible allies like Dolores Huerta, like the great Christian Nunez who is here in person with us tonight, the president of now the National Organization of Women and Andrea Miller, who I think is gonna join us remotely from the uh, Center for Common Ground. And you, Harvey. <laughs> Don't think about it. Just one of the great great organizers of his generation and all generations. Thank you, Harvey.
Alan, it's really an honor, and it, uh, Alan is the reason we're on Zoom today. So we have many, many people. Uh, like I say, we've we've overtaken the Academy Awards. Thank you, Alan. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. And I, I I had a statue for you, but but um, uh, you know it's gone away. So listen, uh, we have a great program, and we are completely honored by Dolores Huerta, we'll be followed by Manon Demacy and uh, uh, Christian Nunez, Joel Siegel is gonna introduce them. Uh, we have Julie Levine and so many others, John Brakey, uh, that we're gonna do when we break into a round table. I do have a really important question to ask you. How many of you would like pizza? Vegan. Should we order in some pizzas to keep going? What do you think? Vegan pizzas. Not my, vegan pizzas, okay. We'll order in some vegan pizzas uh, to keep us going from uh, falling over. Okay, so the next up, uh, and it, we could not really do better than Dolores Huerta. I can't even begin to uh, 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 introduce Dolores Huerta, and uh, so I'm turning it over to someone who can. Do you want me to move the mic down? Are you good to get up here? Okay, this is, this is Tatanka Bricka, um, uh, former uh, offensive lineman for the Cleveland Browns, and, <laughs> and I, couldn't, I couldn't even begin to introduce this guy, so I'm gonna let you talk away. He is a magnificent activist, and he will introduce Doris, then Joel will introduce Christian and Mena, and 